I think it's time to spice things up and explore some new AI models that can give ChatGPT a run for its money. Now, don't get me wrong, ChatGPT is cool and all, but let's be real. There are some other bots out there that deserve some attention too, so buckle up and get ready for an epic showdown as I put some of the top ChatGPT alternatives to the test. I will ask them the same questions and see who comes up on top, so let's begin. Let me introduce you to our contestants first. I will compare ChatGPT's responses to Bing AI, Google's Bard, Perplexity AI, and ChatSonic. And after that, we'll see which chatbot is the true king. Okay, let's start with ChatGPT. First, I will ask, can you tell me the steps to bake a chocolate cake? ChatGPT starts by listing ingredients first and later gives pretty detailed instructions on how to actually cook. And it even wishes to enjoy the cake. A sweet little touch. So no complaints here, everything seems to be in order. Next question will test the context understanding. What if I have no eggs? To this, ChatGPT chooses the same approach, a list of ingredients followed by a detailed instruction, just what I was expecting to get. The third question will be somewhat fun. What's the distance between London and Mumbai in bananas? Provide calculations. And that's where we see the first weird response. ChatGPT somehow decided to calculate the distance through weight. It divided miles by ounces and came up with a ridiculous number, 14 million bananas. And I'm pretty sure that miles per ounce is a newly created unit of speed, so weird, ChatGPT. <laughs> Let's show him the direction. Can't you use the length of a banana instead of weight. And now it gets me. From what I see, it found that the average length of a banana is 7.5 inches, which is kind of a huge banana, don't you think? Okay, the answer makes more sense. A shy of over a million bananas. I wonder whether other chatbots will have different bananas for measurements. Moving on, the fourth question will test consciousness. What's the meaning of life? I'm not expecting any self-consciousness here. I'm just curious how self-aware the AI can be. With that said, what do we get? The standard boring answer. It's personal and different for everyone. Yet still, I like that it doesn't take the question personally and doesn't say something like, as an AI, I don't have a perception of life and stuff like that. Just a solid answer. So good job, ChatGPT. And the final fifth one will be more practical. Write a 30 second ad selling socks with printed people's faces. This question requires a more creative approach, creative thinking, and ChatGPT fails here, at least partially. This sales script looks kinda bland and boring. I wouldn't have clicked on such an ad. And if I ask it to make it funnier and more absurd, delivers. Unicorn hair, grandma's face, yet I'm not sure it understands the point. So now that we have established the baseline, let's see how other chatbots perform. Can anyone overtake ChatGPT? First rival will be the Bard from Google. That's a really interesting contestant. First, it doesn't use the GPT language model. It uses a proprietary Google developed Palm. And second, Bard has real time access to the web, which allows it to provide relevant responses and should give more chances to receive correct info. But we'll see about that. How about that chocolate cake? Basically the same response, a list of ingredients and a list of steps. Yet the one thing that kind of bothers me a little, it advises to let the cake cool down before frosting. But at the same time, time, it doesn't provide any information on the frosting itself. The answer itself is full, but kind of leaves a few empty spaces. Okay, how will it deal with our no X problem? Bad. Straight up bad. It gave me a list of substitutes with measurements. On one hand, it gives a few options to choose from, but on the other hand, it isn't as intuitive as with ChatGPT. If I followed the bar's instructions, I would need to switch back and forth between the recipe and a list of substitutes, which is not very convenient. Now, how about those bananas? Here is the interesting thing. The average banana for Bard is seven inches long, which is half an inch shorter than for ChatGPT. Also, the distance is different. ChatGPT said that it's 4.7 thousand miles, while Bard is sure is 6.5 thousand miles. But a quick Google search shows that the distance is around 4.5 thousand miles. Also, I'm not exactly sure Bard knows math. Somehow he decided not to find the distance in inches first and divided by banana's length, but rather chose to multiply everything. And also multiplying thousands by thousands resulted in thousands and not millions. So no, Bard is totally wrong here. Moving on, the meaning of life. 
I'm gonna be frank, I like Bart's response better. It not only gives options to choose from, but overall sounds motivational and inspiring. So a point for that. And when it comes to that sock ad, it also fails to write something creative on the first try. Same lines, basically, same words even, and asking Bart to make it funnier doesn't do anything. Well, at least it divided the ad by lines and sections. Maybe Chad Sonic can be better. In one of our previous videos, I told you about Chad Sonic. So Chad Sonic does rather poorly on the first question. It gives only steps, no ingredients. That is exactly what I asked for, but not what is a good answer. So minus point for that. But it gives references and links, which adds some more credibility to the answer. And it does the same thing with an eggless cake. Only a list of steps. I guess Chad Sonic isn't a good cook. Maybe he's a better mathematician. No, it's not. It's even more terrible than others. It can't even do simple math. I can't provide information. All right, then keep your secrets. And as for the meaning of life, the same boring and lame answer as the chat GPT gave us. But I can say it slightly remedies itself in the creative part. The ad script may sound simple and cliche, but at least we got editing tips and what should be on the screen. But when I asked to be funnier, everything kind of fell apart. It mixed together all the previous responses, the recipe, the meaning of life. Bad, really bad. You may get the impression that ChatGPT is losing its relevance, but no, it's still a very powerful tool. And if you want to make the most out of it, you need to know your prompts. And I might have something for you. To help you up your game, we've put together a pack of prompts that you can use. This pack has tons of ready-made prompts that you can simply copy and paste. We believe this list will be a game changer for businesses, marketing specialists, or just anyone looking to level up their ChatGPT experience. And now we have a huge discount, 50% the original price. So be sure to check it out, the link is in the description. Next up, perplexity. I also covered this AI in previous videos, but right now we're about to test it. Can it give us a recipe? No, it cannot. The same list of steps with no list of ingredients. Somehow it doesn't understand that I don't know the ingredients and I need to know what to buy and how to cook. At least it gives links to websites with more thorough answers. And perplexity also can't really deal with our problem of having no X. It suggests some substitutes, but doesn't even say how much of each one we need and how the cooking process will change if we use substitutes. It gives the recipe only after I deliberately ask for it. Do I really have to be that pushy to get what I want from the AI? Maybe it can do math. No, once again, it can't. But perplexity goes even further. It says it's impossible to calculate the distance in bananas. And when I ask to use the length of a banana as a unit of measure, it simply defies the idea of using such as a unit. Maybe perplexity simply hates bananas. So weird stuff, guys. The meaning of life, boring, and and bland, nothing interesting, and the 30 second ad, both responses are pretty boring and not really selling. I guess we already know which AIs to cross out from our list. And finally, we have Bing. That's the AI I was most interested in. The first thing I immediately like, a toggle that lets you choose the style, creative, balanced, or precise. As for the recipe, it's not perfect either. No list of ingredients, only steps. At least it highlights the ingredients, which makes reading the recipe easier. And here is where I see another problem. The chat is limited by 20 responses. It can go past that, so you won't be able to have a long conversation with Bing. That's a shame since I was hoping to find ways to mess with it in my spare time. But what really separates Bing is that it actually gives a recipe for frosting. Finally! And it also gives images to show what the cake should look like. I think this is a very good response despite lacking the list of ingredients, but we can ask for it. No biggie. And Bing also deals with the no eggs problem in an interesting way. It not only shows substitutes and their weights, but also explains how each one will affect the cake, which is kind of perfect for novice cooks or experimenting in the kitchen. And next up, math question. I must admit, Bing knows its math, really. It not only used the correct distance, but provided results in both imperial and metric units. I did my math too, and Bing's answer is the closest to the truth. It accurately converted all units and divided them accurately. Just a perfect response. What about the meaning of life? Well, here we can basically see how Microsoft limits the responses and forces it to add a note that it's an AI. But it's still a good answer. Has an enough arguments, details, and enough motivation and inspiration. And as for that ad, I think I like Bing's response the second most. Some arguments are cliche, but Bing came up with the name for a business and really cut the gist for an ad. Given a call to action to use a promo code. And after I asked for something funnier and crazier, it didn't disappoint. Quite funny, actually. So, good job, Bing. 
So what do we have in the end? Well, almost every AI has its own quirks and can do some things better than ChatGPT. Bard is more sensitive and somewhat emotional, but can lack real smartness to give good answers. Chat Sonic and Perplexity are too tailored for specific copywriting needs, but Bing, despite its limitations, to me it seems like the best alternative to ChatGPT. It's funny, mostly correct, sentient and intelligent enough and is really good to talk to. All those emojis and friendly wording does seem somehow warmer and more sincere. But I'm guessing Bing is more for search-like prompts rather than actual tasks and long writing. So yeah, try Bing, it's really fun. Thank you for watching and all that stuff, go write your prompts right after you watch this video.